Hi guys and welcome back. My name is Smoo and we are gonna to we're going to review Beside Myself. Um I do believe that Beside Myself is a decent game. Um unfortunately, uh I don't think that it was that scary. Uh, there were a lot of uh, of jump scares that I, I like some of them I actually also jumped uh, at. Um I do feel that a lot of them were quite how to explain like they were quite expected i want to say uh, unfortunately i also played a game previously i think one or two games in the same asylum meaning that i did not feel very um scared from the settings either uh, i think it would have been um like i do believe that it's really good to have um to reuse uh to reuse um what's it called reuse resources i don't mind that uh but it that did unfortunately become a little bit too familiar for me to me for me to be scared uh, i do feel like it it has the potential to be very scary um i don't think it's necessarily a super bad game uh so because this is the, this is the problem uh because i honestly don't think it is a bad game i think it is quite well made i like the little things that like when you're walking and there was items on the floor you actually like moved on top of them um some of these jump scares were a little bit cheap however i also do feel like some of them were quite decent you know if if i would have been more scared um mechanics is very easy you go and you basically automatically do or do the action when you are moving towards some stuff so it's not very advanced mechanics either. It is a walking simulator, a, a scary walking simulator, and, and I'm okay with that. The problem that I have with recommending or not recommending it is because this is a scary game and I didn't feel scary at all. I wasn't scared of the settings at all. I wasn't scared of the, like there was a few jump scares that kind of made me jump and such. Um, but it didn't make me, it felt like a very generic, scary game but it's not bad so for me this is is very difficult because i kind of in in one sense i kind of want to uh, um recommend it because it's not a bad game but i kind of don't want to recommend it either um like i i want to recommend it because it's not a bad game and i don't want to recommend it because i didn't feel very scary if that makes sense um so i think this is gonna be a first where i kind of can't really give a recommendation either or because i do believe that there are very good potential for this developer uh but because the game itself weren't that scary to me uh doesn't mean that it's not scary for other people either so like i don't know I, I, I seriously at this point cannot decide if I want to recommend this or not. Um, so so, kinda. Like for beginners, who people who play uh, scary games, you know, haven't played that many scary games. I think this one could be a very good uh, beginner game. Um, but when it comes to when it comes to this game itself, I'm not sure if. Like it's a good beginner scary game it, it will be scary for people who has not played a lot of scary games but it's not gonna be scary for the people who are used to scary games and such um so i don't know i i'm i'm kind of don't want to recommend it because i don't want to make people disappointed in it um but it's not a game that i would play again so my my i'm leaning towards that i won't recommend it but i do believe that this has a lot of potential and if the developer continue i think they can do they can do a make like they can can words they can make a really good game so yeah i think i'm gonna go for not recommend but i see a lot of potential <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye Thank you so much for watching my video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to like and subscribe and if you didn't enjoy it then well you're just gonna have to watch me dance awkwardly once again